Today we are taking a look back at Windows Phone in 2023. Almost no one is using a Windows Phone in 2023 because Microsoft stopped making them. But why did they? Why did Windows Phone fail and how is it using one in 2023? I was always a big fan of Windows Phone because even though it was cheap, the performance was still pretty good, especially for the price. Windows Phone didn't require a lot of good hardware to run smoothly and it also had really nice animations in my opinion. However, there was one big reason why most people didn't buy a Windows Phone and that was the amount of apps that it had. It doesn't have the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, but the Microsoft Windows Store. And there aren't a lot of good apps on there. This means that almost no banking apps are on there, but also no Google services, so that means no YouTube, no Gmail, no Google Maps, and also other social media platforms like Twitter and Snapchat aren't on there. Of course you could still use the browser for some of these apps, however that wasn't a perfect solution at all. I remember when I still had a Windows phone and some websites had big banners that I should install the app to use it. But when I clicked on it, it would redirect to Android or iOS store, which wouldn't work on the Windows phone. A lot of developers didn't make apps for a Windows phone because the amount of Windows phone users was very low and Windows phone users went away from Windows phone because of the lack of apps. So that is the reason why they stopped making them. But how is it using one in 2023? This is the Lumia 950, one of the last Windows phones that Microsoft made. When you first log in, you can already see Windows Hello, which is the facial recognition that it has. It tries to use your eyes to log in, however, it doesn't work that fast. Once you're logged in, you will see the home screen, which looks a lot different compared to Android or iOS. There are live tiles, which you can press to open an app. And on the home screen you can scroll instead of having multiple tabs. And when you swipe to the left, you will get a list of all the apps that are installed on the device. There are a lot of apps that sadly don't work anymore on Windows Phone because it's so old. However, the phone and messaging app still works. No matter what I tried, I didn't get Skype to work. When I clicked on the Get It Now button, I would get redirected to the Windows Store. And when I hit the Install button, it said that the product was already installed, so that's kinda weird. Most of the time the Microsoft Edge browser was still working, however, there were a few times where the websites weren't correctly loaded or saying that the browser was outdated, but that didn't happen often. Outlook Calendar luckily still worked fine for me, and it's also kinda nice that when you set a reminder, they will also show it on the home screen with the live tiles, and it's almost like apps work like a widget, so I really like that. Sadly, there isn't a lot that works anymore. I also tried Outlook Mail and it didn't work for me sadly. And I also tried to add my account multiple times. Also on the bottom of the screen you can see there is no recent apps button. So if you want to go to the recent apps, you need to press and hold on the back arrow. And if you press the search button, it would open up Cortana or Bing. Cortana didn't work as well, but the browser did work, so I could search for the weather. The weather app doesn't work anymore, but you can still search for the weather on Bing and then it would work. It's really disappointing because I really liked the weather app, but now it doesn't show a temperature anymore. The photo editing app Lumia Creative Studio does still work, which has some fun features. For example, blurring the background, portrait mode, but then you have to do it manually. So first you select the foreground and then the background, but as you can see it doesn't work that well. But it's still kind of fun that it has this. And it also has some basic adjustments, and I really like how the app looks. Microsoft Office still works well, so PowerPoint, Word, Excel and more. And it can also use OneDrive, so I can import slides that I made on my PC. However, it is the mobile version of PowerPoint, so you won't get as many options as on the PC. But it is nice that it still works. There used to be Instagram and WhatsApp on the Microsoft Store. However, I wasn't able to find them anymore. The only social media app that I found was TikTok in the store. However, it didn't want to install. When I pressed the install button, it didn't do anything. There also used to be Crossy Road on Windows Phone, but I can't find that as well. And when I tapped on Waze, it would just keep showing the loading screen. Google services still work in the browser, so YouTube works fine. And Google Maps as well, however sometimes features are limited, so for example I can't do navigation. If you want to do navigation, you need to install the app, but there is no app for a Windows Phone. And here you can see that YouTube says that the browser is outdated, however YouTube still works for now. But I think that maybe in the future it won't work anymore. 
because right now it is very slow and also kind of annoying to use however it does still work so you can still watch videos check out comments like a video stuff like that and as far as i know all lumia phones have a headphone jack so that's nice but this is not the only way you can use this phone microsoft had the idea that this phone could work like your pc with this the microsoft display dock which lets you connect the lumia to a big screen and it will work like your windows pc which sounds amazing however there were a lot of limitations but i will talk about that later let's connect it here is the dock itself and on the front you have the connector to connect the phone to the dock and on the back you have the ports to connect to a monitor but also usb port that is for your keyboard your mouse microphone or something else so first we're gonna connect the monitor and the keyboard and mouse and because the phone itself has bluetooth you can also connect the bluetooth mouse or bluetooth headphones now we connect the dock to power and connect the phone to the dock and if it's the first time setting it up you will also get a video but while it looks like windows you can't actually install windows programs on here so it is very limited and you can install apps from the windows store however most don't even work with this feature and all the apps must be open in full screen so there is no way to make the app smaller this also means not being able to set multiple apps side by side but you can press a button and see which apps you recently opened and also all the shortcuts work so you can do alt tab you can also adjust volume Control copy and paste and Microsoft Office also works on here but it is a bit limited but for the time it was really impressive in my opinion. Sadly the Microsoft Edge browser is outdated and it can't be updated anymore so most sites don't really work correctly anymore. YouTube only works in the mobile version and not on the desktop version. Some websites are completely broken and look very weird while others don't work at all. And you can even see that some of Microsoft's own apps don't work on here. When you go into settings, you can see that it really looks like Windows 10 settings. So that's really nice in my opinion. And I think it's really disappointing that they stopped making Lumia phones. Because maybe if they kept going, they would have been able to make a phone that could run full Windows 10. And that would be very interesting to have. Lumia phones were always very interesting in my opinion. Some of them were really cheap and had very good price to performance ratio and they would run pretty smooth even with half a gig or a gig of RAM. But they also had some very interesting phones, for example this one that I just showed you which can kind of turn into a PC, but also the Lumia 1020 which had a very big 41 megapixel sensor that could shoot some really good pictures for the time. They were one of the first with a USB-C port, one of the first with wireless charging, a very good display on most models, a dark mode, a nice keyboard to type on, a very nice and interesting user interface which still looks good today in my opinion and a user replaceable battery on almost all models. But sadly the phones were far from perfect, sometimes being a bit unstable and not having a lot of apps. What do you think of Windows Phone? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.